Hey everyone, this is Anna, and thanks so much for visiting my channel. I'm putting together a really fun video for you tonight. We ha are having the September release for um, Impression Obsession. There are stamps and dies available this month um, in the release, and I'm super excited because some of these um, dies I've been waiting a really long time to share. So let's go ahead and just get started. So first off, I'm going to share a couple of cards I made using some stamps from Lindsay. Uh, the first stamp I'm going to share a uh, project with is this one here. It's uh, it says hang in there. It has a little spider here and it has a little dash dot border around the outside edge. So real cute. Love Lindsay's handwriting and her little sketches. There's this one here that says too cute to spook and it has a cute little row of smiling pumpkins here. She's added another frame and some stars in the background there. So really adorable. And the last one I have to share with you is this one here. It says, I'm so glad I live in a world with Octobers. And there's a row of adorable little pumpkins down here at the bottom. And she's got another cute little frame sketched around there. So let me go ahead and show you the cards that I made using those. Uh, it was really easy just to stamp the design on paper, color it with some markers and fussy cut around the outside edge of the frame there. Uh, made for a really quick and easy card. Here's the one that has the little spider. It says hang in there. So again, I just uh, stamped it, colored it, and fussy cut around the frame there. Really, really easy. And the last one is this one here, Too Cute to Spook. I love those happy, smiley pumpkins. And again, I just fussy cut around that frame. So they make for a really quick and cute card. So, and you know, Lindsay's art is always adorable. Um, I always appreciate her designs. There's also a die being released um, that says Eek. Uh, so we kind of have a mix of fall things and Halloween things. Um, I'm gonna just go in no particular order just as things are sitting here next to me. Um, but this die says Eek. And there's also this little um, Halloween icon die set that comes with a cat face, a bat, a ghost, and a pumpkin. And the pumpkin is four pieces so you can choose to die cut just the single layer pumpkin with a leaf, or you can add this additional layer here on top of the pumpkin just for a little bit more dimension. Um, so I'll give you an example here. Um, here's the pumpkin just cut uh, with a single layer, or you can cut the second layer and add it on top here for just a little bit more dimension. So real cute, and you could then add leaves too if you wanted as well. So that's a real cute little design. And let's see. Um, here is a card made with the eek. So you can see the size on an A2 card. So it's a really nice size. And then these uh, silver ghosts here were made with the icon die set. And instead of um, stamping any faces on them, um, I just added some googly eyes. So Jeannie released um, some cute face sets last month that are like the kawaii faces. Um, so here's an example of one that I actually stamped uh, one of Jeannie's faces on. Um, so real cute. That's just the kitty set from this particular die set here. So that's real cute. Those will be fun to use for Halloween. Um, I also released two different witches. This one is, um, she has her hands out um, stretched like she's giving a hug. And then there's this one here who is just standing sideways uh, holding her broom. So cute little gals there. Uh, let me show you an example of one of the cards that I made with um, the witch that's holding her hands out. I die cut her out of black glitter cardstock and added her to a card that just has a couple fishtail banners on it. So really cute, right? Super easy. And then here's a card made with the witch that's holding the broom. I added just a little twine bow to her back there um, and uh, added her to the card as well. There's also a rosette here on the background that she is sitting on. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of detail about that. So we are releasing a Halloween rosette um, die and it looks like this. I'm gonna do a separate video that shows how to assemble the rosettes. They're very easy, but I wanna make sure that it um, is uh, able to be viewed without being buried in a bunch of other product details. So this is the rosette die here. What you would do is you would die cut this twice and you would adhere the ends together and that would give you a larger piece that you can then turn into a circle and squish down into the rosette. So I'll go ahead and do a video about that. And then if you don't have a circle die available to you or a circle punch, there's this die set available too that works really well with the rosettes for a topper and a bottom to the rosette. And it's gonna be hard to see, but you can actually um, maybe see that I used um, an orange um, circle on top of the rosette there, and that was from this circle die set. 
But like I said, I'll go ahead and do a separate video that shows you how to put that uh, rosette together. I love that it has the um, points and I love it that it has a moon cut out of every single point. So really, really nice. Um, let's see, here's another card that I made using the Halloween Icons die set. Um, this uses the little ghost and the bat. And of course I just stamped a couple of Jeannie's um, kawaii faces on there as well. Really cute. Uh, Mitra released um, some stamps that are four by four in size and they have some coordinating dies. So let me go ahead and share those with you. Um, the first one is called Spider Trio. Let me see if I can get some of this stuff out of the way so it's not too distracting. I'll get a piece of paper here to set this on. So it's called Spider Trio. And it comes with the three different size spiders and several sentiments. There's Be Afraid, Eek, and Have a Spooky Good Halloween. And then there are coordinating dies available too, which will die cut the three uh, spiders. So real cute. Um, there's another 4x4 four four set available called Ghost Trio. There's a sentiment that says, Hey Boo, uh, Ghostly Greetings and Spooky. And then there's a coordinating die that's available that will die cut each of the three ghosts. So I love that. I don't have samples made yet with those two sets, um, but there's another set called Bat Trio. It looks like that. And it has a coordinating die that's available that will cut the three different bat shapes. So real cute. I do have a sample with that um, set and it's this card here. Have a fantastic Halloween. So all I did was die cut two of the bats there and added googly eyes. So really cute. There is another 4x4 four four set called Cat Trio. So it has three kitties and a couple of sentiments there. And it also has a coordinating die set that's available, which I love. I love this die set. I actually die cut um, just one of the kitties um, and made a card here. And just for its face, again, I added googly eyes. So it makes for a really um, quick and easy card when you have simple shapes like this to use. So I love this. It's one of my favorite cards from the release. And then there's another set available called, what's it called? Monster Set. And its sentiments are ghouls just want to have fun and creepy. And I love this set too. Uh, it comes with four different monsters. And then there's a coordinating die set available that dies, die cuts out all the little monster shapes. And I also really love this set too. I made a card with this one. Let me put that paper aside. Uh, so there I die cut a couple of the little creepy monsters just in black ink um, and added googly eyes to them as well. This um, spider web is um, was released last month. I think it was one of Dina's um, stamps that she released, um, but I thought that was really cool in the background there. So really fun and make for really quick and easy cards. Then um, there is another set available. Let me go ahead and clear some of this stuff out of the way here. Hopefully this is not too distracting here. Um, there's another set available that is for dressing up the previously released um, character um, or critter dies. Um, so let me show you those. First, I'll show you the um, die set. This is the critter dress up um, or critter outfits. Um, so it comes with a top hat. There's also a band for the hat as well. Um, so here's an example of it die cut. Um, so there's the hat die cut in black glitter, and then you could add the band, hat band to that as well. So real cute. And then it comes with a bow tie and a necktie, and that comes with a couple different pairs of glasses. There's the round glasses and the kind of, um, I guess these aren't glasses, they're more, it's more like a mask. Um, and then there's an eye patch. So if you turned it this way, it's an eye patch. And you get a necktie and a bow tie. Did I already mention those? And you get three different mustaches. So there's a curly Q mustache. There is kind of a heavier um, down fuzzy mustache. And then there's this really dapper mustache here. So really cute set. Let me show you um, some of the character dies that it coordinates with. There's the uh, Labrador die set. That was a previously released set. There's the Golden Retriever. Um, set as well. 
and um, they also coordinate um, just as an example they coordinate with other sets too but gee, these are just the ones here I have on my desk um, they coordinate with the terrier set and they coordinate with the cat uh, so let me go ahead and show you a couple examples um, let's see so here is an example of the terrier um, without any of the dress-up items so this is just the terrier alone without any dress-up items here's an example of the terrier that's dressed for Halloween <laughs> he's got cute little round glasses he's got that really nice dapper mustache and a necktie added and then also here you can see that two-layer pumpkin um, with the leaf and then one of Jeannie's pumpkin stamps that she released last month for her little faces cute right so cute here's an example of the um, retriever and the Labrador without any dress-up items on them but you could um, dress them up really easily by adding the mustache <laughs> I think they're so adorable you could really easily add um, a little bit of dapper to uh, one of the dogs by adding the hat right so cute uh, maybe you're Maybe your Labrador um, needs a little bow tie instead of his little collar. You could add that. You could die cut this out in plaid and give him all different kinds of cute little bow ties. So really super duper cute. Um, you could add a mustache to your Labrador as well um, and really dress him up uh, for the holidays. It's great for New Year's, parties, weddings, you name it. I think these are so fun and I'm excited to have these um, to coordinate with our critters. Another um, set I want to share with you, um, which I'm super excited about, this is probably the one I've been most excited um, to share with you, um, are these two sets here. These are bread loaf pans um, and they make tag dies, or tags in the shape of a loaf pan and bread and then they also have a little tag that you can use um, to decorate your loaf pan. So this is the small one. It's about three, I want to say three and a half in length. Yeah, almost three and a half in length. And then the larger one here is, I want to say five. Let's see. No, four, just over four and a half um, in length, the larger one here. So the, the uh, dies come in two different sizes. There's the pan itself and a uh, loaf of bread. And then the large one comes with a larger tag that has some stitching detail. And then the smaller one, the smaller die set comes with the smaller pan, the smaller loaf, um, and of course the smaller tag to use for embellishment. There is also a stamp set that Jeannie put out that coordinates really well with the loaf um, tags and it's called Baked Fresh Sayings. Um, so this top one here, it's hard to read because I've put it back on the um, sheet kind of awkwardly, but it says happiness is the smell of home baked bread baked fresh. Um, this word down here is sourdough and then squash and bread. So you can see you can um, make all different kinds of uh, bread tags. She also include two, included two little um, graphic icons here that you could use to stamp across the um, the loaf pan itself or you could use them to stamp on the tag. Um, kind of like a little Pyrex design um, if you will. So a really great set from Jeannie. I love this. This is gonna come in super handy. We do make a lot of baked bread that we share with our neighbors and friends. So I'm excited to have these. Let me go ahead and show you a couple examples. So this is the small tag die. Uh, you can see in my hand, it's, it is small. Um, but what you can do is you can actually pull the bread completely out or you could adhere it down in place if you'd like. Um, how I did this so that it doesn't the bread doesn't show on the back side, I die cut the pan out of silver and then I also die cut it out of just gray cardstock and I adhered them together just around the outside edges. That allows me to slip the bread down in between those two layers of bread pan and not actually see the bread loaf here on the back side. So really easy to do, um, but I think it's a really nice finishing touch. And then there's that small tag there decorating it to let you know what kind of bread it is. Here's an example of the larger tag. Again, I die cut it out of that silver um, cardstock and then I die cut it out of a gray cardstock and adhered them together just along the outside edge. And that allows me to slip the bread 
down in between those two layers of pans and not see the bread on the back side. So you could put to and from information on here, um, from our house to yours, anything that you want. You could write a little note down in here, or you could adhere it down in place and not have those two pieces pull apart at all. And then here, of course, is the larger tag that I've stamped one of Jeannie's little icons on. You could make all different kinds of bread pans. Um, one of the designers, and may, actually, may have actually been Jeannie, she die cut it out of blue and white speckled paper, um, and so it looked like any, uh, an old blue and white enameled uh, bread pan. So cute. You could die cut it out of all different types of pattern paper or, um, you know, vellum even would be really cute. So if you got a glass pan, for example. So super cute, and I'm really excited to have these and be able to share those with you. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. There are a lot of other stamps being shared on this release. Um, I don't have samples made with them all, but some of the other designers do. I'm going to leave all the uh, blog hop information down in the description box. I will leave a link to the Impression Obsession website where all these products are available and really encourage you to just hop around and see what the other designers are sharing. There's so much inspiration to be seen and um, people just did a really great job with all these products. So. Um, there are lots of other rubber stamps available. There are some other dies available as well. And just encourage you to check them out. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And until we chat again, take care. Bye.